Florida residents with suspended driver's license, Operation Greenlight is back. Go to this website, type Operation Greenlight, and it will bring you to this page. You can see your county and the dates they have available. Go work you a deal and get your license. You guys have asked and I have answered. If you want to find out if your state is participating in the Homeowner Assistance Fund, all you have to do is go to this website, select your state and see if they are participating. This was promised under the American if you are a Florida homeowner, you can now apply for your $10,000 that was promised to us under the American Rescue Plan. The Homeowner Assistance Fund money is now available for Florida residents. Before you ask, yes, the IRS is offsetting your tax refund if you owe unemployment, child support, or any IRS debt. As you can see, you will get code 826, just like it is here on the transcript. They just took $11,000. If you are not claiming that child this year, then what is going to happen is your tax refund is going to be reduced because you will have to report the money that you did receive. The individual that is now going to claim that child that you are not claiming anymore will get the full credit on their tax refund. If you received your child tax credit payments last year and you did not claim the same children on your taxes this year, then you were ultimately overpaid. Don't worry, you can qualify for the IRS automatic payment waiver. It starts at $40,000 for single. If you use your GI Bill benefits to attend a school that is now closed and or is on the Navient lawsuit settlement list, you can have your benefits reinstated and you will be allowed to attend another school. Tax audits generally go back three years. In some cases, they can go back to six years. If you do not file, they can audit you all those years that you did not file. And if they feel that you are fraudulent, there is no time limit. If you receive IRS letter 4464C, your return has been selected for review and the IRS is going to verify the accuracy of the income and or credits that you have elected to take in your tax. If you receive a IRS letter 6323, then you are being audited. Here is how to read your letter. This is the local IRS office that is handling your audit. Here is the date of the letter you received, and here is the year of the tax refund that is in review. Here is the reason that your file has been selected for an audit. Please note that if you do not respond to the audit and or you cannot justify the items that are being selected for review, you will owe the IRS. If you're a non-resident or resident alien and want to file for what is called an I-10, you will need to go to what is called a certified acceptance agent. You will bring your supporting documentation, file your taxes, and get your social security number. If you are a tax preparer, you may think about offering this service to upgrade your business.